let's take some time to talk about post-processing workflow. So you're going to need a combination of hardware and software. So the, the programs that my, I prefer using is either Adobe Lightroom, which is where I spend probably 80% of my professional time, or a combination of Adobe Bridge, Adobe Camera Raw, and Photoshop. Either combination will do just fine. If you're using Lightroom on a, on a lab computer, on a shared computer, you'll need a portable hard drive uh, to store your, uh, your Lightroom catalog file on. Uh, Bridge will allow um, storage of files on a network. And a, obviously a laptop works just fine. You need, do need to make sure that your computer can read your memory card. Most cameras these days use secure digital cards and most computers can read those, no problem. Uh, don't forget an extension cord if you're working remotely. So let's talk about basic setup. And I've got all of these screens split into the Lightroom on the left, Bridge on the right. So listen to whichever makes sense to you and you can sort of zone out for the other half, but do watch for the next slide. If you're working in Lightroom, step one is start a catalog on your, on your, on your local hard drive or on your portable hard drive. You want to pre-fill in a metadata preset, and you're going to have to look up in the menu how to do that. But all kinds of standing items, your name, your address, uh, can all be filled in ahead of time so that you can save that preset, and you don't have to type it in every time. If you're working in Bridge Photoshop, heads up, you need to find your fol folder on the network, um, you need to move the panes and bridge around to, to create a workspace the way you want it. And you can minimize some panes. You can make some panes bigger. I like having on the far left a list of, of my fol folders and drives. Underneath that, I keep my metadata pane. Uh, in the middle, I have a fairly small pane with, with what I would call a contact sheet or a bunch of thumbnails. And then I have a large screen on the right large panel on the right with my image shown somewhat large so I can see a good sense of what it's looking like. It's also a good time to start and save a metadata template, which is what Bridge calls it, with again your standing items. As an aside, I was taught to treat my photos like you're sending your daughter out on a date. Make sure that they've got some ID, so be sure you've got a caption on the picture. Make sure that you know where they're going. Make sure that you know when they'll be back. Make sure they can find their way home. So make sure that your name and address and phone number and your website and your email are all embedded in that metadata. So if somebody finds your picture online, they can call you and say, hey, can I use your picture and track you down to, to ask that permission. Even better if they track you down to ask permission and give you some money. Okay. Metadata must-haves in my mind, you've got to have a caption. You can embed this. All of this is embedded in the file and travels with the file. Um, some programs call it a caption. Some call it a description. Same thing. Who, what, when, where, why, how. Okay. Joyce McConnell delivers the opening convocation at the beginning of the 2020 academic year in Moby Arena, sep September 5th, 2020. It needs to have a shoot date. If, for the most part, your camera should be passing this through to the program. Make sure the date is correct in your camera. You need a byline. By whom? By John Isley. Okay, and you, you have multiple places to put your name in, in most metadata templates. Uh, you, you have your byline, which is who took the picture. You have the author, which is the legal author of the picture. So, for example, in my case, I work for Colorado State University. So the author of the picture is Colorado State University, not me. But I get a byline. You need a proper copyright notice. And a proper copyright notice is the, either the symbol or the word, the year, and your name. It needs all three elements. Okay? There's a copyright status field in um, in in both Bridge and in um, Lightroom. And the status needs to agree with your copyright notice, okay? It, it should either be copyright or if, if, if you wanna put it in the public domain where nobody owns your image, that's fine. But if, you're, if you put it in public domain, 
there should not be a copyright notice. Your status and your notice need to be consistent. Step two, import your files. Pop that card in the card reader, plug your camera into the computer. In Lightroom, you're gonna import the files via copy into a folder in your catalog. You wanna set it to ignore duplicates and you wanna apply metadata on import. So, in, so set it up to import, to give it a generic caption for everything so you know what's going on if you forget later, okay? In Bridge Photoshop, you're gonna copy the files from your card to your, to your computer, and then you're gonna select all the files and either replace or append the metadata template. So at this point, we've got our files on the computer and we've got basic metadata applied to everything automatically. Step three, back up the files. Did I mention we should be paranoid about this? Okay, in both cases, grab that folder that you've put them in and copy them to a separate hard drive, separate card, flash drive, a CD, a DVD, a cloud service, whatever works for you. It's worth mentioning that anybody with a RAMS email address gets unlimited Google Drive storage. Uh, that's good for as long as you've got the RAMS email address. So that buys you some time, works really well for this class. Step four, figure out which pictures you wanna keep and work on. So in Lightroom, what I like to do is hit the E for enlarge key to see a full frame image, because I don't like looking at the little bitty thumbnails. My eyes aren't that good anymore. So I wanna look at it full frame. I'm gonna use the arrow keys to just move through the images and as about as quickly as it displays, I can decide if I wanna keep it or toss it. I use P for pick for what I wanna keep. Some people like to use X for reject what they don't wanna keep. Alternatively, you can use stars or you can use color rankings to identify those select frames. And then you can filter to only show the selects you wanna work on. For our purposes in this class, we're gonna be looking for that one perfect file. In industry, you may be looking for the perfect hundred files, okay? So it's about finding a library. In Bridge Photoshop, same concept, right? Bridge is your selection application. And again, you can use color and star rankings to make your select and filter to show only the selects when you open them in Photoshop. Now you're gonna go in and make your, your adjustments. In Lightroom, the develop pane is on the right and the edits are non-destructive. You can change your mind between settings. In Bridge and Photoshop, if you shoot raw, everything will open in camera raw, which is sort of a, a median in, um, intermediate application. And you'll make your adjustments in camera raw very similar to what you do in Lightroom. If you shoot in JPEG, you'll go straight into Photoshop. And the place to start is with levels and then, and then a little bit of sharpening and save as, so you can reprocess as necessary. With a JPEG, really important to save as a new file. So if you change your mind, you can go back to the original file and reprocess it. You can't do much with a file in Lightroom until you export it back out as a working file. I like to rename my files. So I'm gonna rename it to, with a slug and, and your name. You're gonna export as a JPEG file at full resolution and let's go high quality and export from Lightroom. I wanna say that again, you export your photo from Lightroom. With Bridge and Photoshop, again, you're gonna rename your file, you're gonna save it as a JPEG, and you're gonna do save as a JPEG. You don't wanna save the original file, okay? And you again, you wanna save as from Bridge and Photoshop. If you export from Photoshop, it will strip all the metadata. So this is a bad idea. You wanna save in Bridge, save in Photoshop, export from Lightroom. Yes, it's confusing. So give me a call, get in touch if you've got questions, and I'm looking forward to seeing your pictures.